This is gonna be the gnarliest tasting thing we've ever made on fancy fast food, and that is saying something. Just when you thought the square meat patty at Wendy's was groundbreaking enough, today Chase and I are giving the most important meal of the day the attention it deserves by making a fancy Wendy's breakfast baconator. My body has been taken over by a spirit. Our raw meat plunges the new alpha dog trend we're setting. I don't know what that is. Ow! Is putting prenatal bovine hormones into cheese sauce a bad idea? Oh. Uh. The answer to all these questions and more on today's episode of Fancy Fast Food. Good morning. Hi. Hi. How are you doing? Good. <laughs> we've been wearing this every day for the last three weeks, oh, but this is the first time we've been to a Wendy's. We didn't think about coming to a Wendy's and all of a sudden one day it just popped in our head like, oh, you know what? We actually have the right look for it. I was supposed to go to Krispy Kreme and I was still wearing this, <laughs> but... How did you come up with this? I, listen, first it's just all, personal style. Cross- I, I don't know, no comment. <laughs> <laughs> what can I get for you today? Can we please get two breakfast baconators? Oh God, it's just a sandwich with the candles. Uh, well, you want you want a coffee or anything? You want potatoes? Mm, I'm good. I'll get coffee at the office. I'll get coffee at the office. Just a sandwich, please. Yeah, I'll say you have a good one. Is okay. Wendy, is Wendy here? No. Hello. Are you? Hello. Good morning. How are you? Wendy. <laughs> we listen. He's Wendy. I'm just a Wendy imposter. <laughs> yeah. This is just my fan. <laughs> If we're being honest about what Wendy's did here, they came out with the Baconator. They said it was the most bacon strips ever put on a hamburger. Now, anything they put bacon on is just underneath the Baconator Mm -hmm. name. They've created valuable IP. This is just a normal breakfast sandwich, (laughs) um, but it's on a hamburger bun. And it has bacon, which is also pretty normal for a breakfast breakfast sandwich. Cheers, man. Cheers. Listen, mayonnaise, hot cheese, and eggs, with a bunch of cured pork products. I mean, there's six slices of bacon, which is what makes it a baconator as opposed to just a breakfast sandwich. I'm, I can't stop eating the hair. Chase, what's your plan to fancify this? All right, Josh, I'm <laughs> glad you asked. <laughs> I think we up the prices on all of our ingredients. That's smart, that's a good start. We were pinkies out the entire time. That's great. Right. Uh, is it too fancy mm. if we palm heel strike every ingredient? Or is that, does that have nothing to do with fancy at all? No, listen, uh, the Thai, Muay Thai kickboxing is the fanciest sport out there, and the Palm Hill Strike is a potent maneuver. I think I was thinking, like, we could Photoshop pictures of our fictional children playing sports that they never played to try and juice their admissions into Ivy League schools. All right. Ma, ma, ma. Chase, let me ask you a question. <laughs> it's in the middle of my warm-up there. I'm sorry. sorry. No, keep doing the warm-up. Keep doing the warm-up. Ma, ma. Okay, I'm done. The tip of the teeth, the lips, the tongue. Yeah, right there. The quick, what's the fanciest peninsula in all of Europe? Florida's the only peninsula I know of. <laughs> Iberian, the Iberian Peninsula. Oh, yeah, yeah, and that's what we're taking inspiration from this entire thing. It's the way that I surmise it, right? <laughs> Wendy, Wendy's has a bunch of different cured meats on the bacon area. You have the bacon, the sausage, and that's it. That's a bunch, that's two. This is just in the middle, it's like from Ohio. <laughs> There's, Ohio know. is the Iberian Peninsula of America, mm-hmm. is how I figure. We're, I don't know, man. We've made so many different fancy fast foods and we've never just done a bunch of really dope Spanish slash Portuguese, AKA Iberian Peninsula ingredients. And that's what we're doing here. All right. All right, so we're gonna start with the cheeses. So you have the American cheese, but instead of doing that, we're gonna do like an olive loaf. So it's some beautiful green Gordal olives from Spain right there. And then we have Velveeta. That's more on the Ohio inside of what we're doing today. But Chase, if you wanna start melting down that Velveeta cheese, you can just pop it in like that second pot right there, turn it on low heat, and then start mincing up as many of those olives as you can. Now, as it turns out, when we eated the breakfast baconator, we thought there was mayonnaise in it. Because mm-hmm. I licked the creamy white sauce, as I am often want to do, and I was like, wow, that tastes like mayonnaise. Turns out, it was actually a breakfast cheese sauce. So we're gonna make one of those as well. And we're doing that with some soaked Marcona almonds, we got some goat's milk, and then we have this beautiful zebro cheese right here. You wanna try it? Yeah. I've never had this before. This is a Portuguese cheese. Um, it is a sheep's milk cheese, and it is made with uh, cardoon thistle rennet. So rennet is an enzyme that you use to curdle wow. cheese. Should be really herbaceous. Tastes like cheese. Ooh, 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 I'm getting a little sheep funk from it though. I can taste the farm. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna heat that up. Uh, we're gonna use some of the fat, some of the nuttiness, some of that. What's it, it's like arsenic is in almonds? Really? I didn't really know that. Someone Google arsenic and almonds. I'm pretty sure that's like one of the things you kind of taste. Um, so I'm gonna add a little bit of cow's milk. I'm just gonna circle around you. Can you just chop those olives? Wait, give me one. Mmm. 
These olives Ooh. don't have blue Ooh. cheese in them. Dude, wait, those are some of the best olives I've ever had. You, you sure? like olives? I do, but usually they do have blue cheese in them and they're surrounded by like vodka and yeah, <laughs> yeah. fair enough. Cyanide. Cyanide, not arsenic, but there's cyanide in almonds, right? Of course, yeah. That's what gives it, there's arsenic in rice, um, but cyanide in, that's true, someone look that up. So, <laughs> that's just me yelling, Google it at people. No, but the cyanide in almonds is what gives it, almonds tend to have like a little bit of bitterness to them, you know, and that's gonna go in with all of our zebra cheese. This is not zebra cheese, that is, you will know that we've reached like the end of fancy fast food when we just make a little cheese, a little Caesar's stuffed cheesy bread with zebra cheese. Um, we have another product here that I've never used before. It's called colostrum powder. Uh -huh. This is this is a Nicole original um, that I she I created was, it. Yeah, no, it's not Nicole's colostrum Dang. to be clear. So colostrum, <laughs> what it is? Colostrum is. The first milk of a mammal. So humans produce colostrum when we feed, not we like me, I will never have that burden, but also a beautiful miracle gift. To, but we make it, so it's one of the nutrients that's in the like firstborn milk is hormones. And it like, it's, but also a lot of like weirdo alpha male influencers drink colostrum. Like you ever see like, you know, the, the carnivore crowd that's like, I only eat testicles and wild honey, but uh -huh. also my wife's breast milk. Yeah. I got a bunch of stuff, I gotta add, oh, I'm just gonna start dumping stuff in this blender and hope it all comes together. Um, we gotta try it. Chase, you gotta try the colostrum powder. Just uh, by it, itself? It smells, you know what this smells like? Okay, so when I was a kid, right, our neighbor worked at Jack in the Box, my dad wasn't home often, so like the neighbor would come home and just drop off a giant bag of Jack in the Box at like midnight on a Saturday, me and my brother, we'd sit there, we'd eat about 40 bucks for the Jack in the Box, but another thing she brought was Jack in the Box's powdered milkshake mix, and we'd just mix it with milk. That. Yeah, that's how they do it. They mix it with water and put it in a machine. This smells like Jack in the Box powdered milkshake mix. Hold out your hand. I'll do it too. Do you think that's what they use? Colostrum? I feel like I'm gonna start waking up at four in the morning and doing listening to inspirational books on double speed than listening to a Jay Shetty podcast while I meditate on the elliptical for two hours before gratitude journaling and then founding an NFT based startup. And I'm just gonna follow oh, him. Oh God, that's so much colostrum powder. Uh, I'm gonna add a fair amount of salt. This is Fleur de Sel from Ibiza. As Ibiza. I hear it pronounced very often. Did Lily <laughs> laugh because they say it like that in Love Island? <laughs> Going to Ibiza. Never been to Ibiza, bruv. The thing is, I feel like you and I have a real good thing going, but I'm not sure I wanna be with you because I got this other thing. You just sound like you burnt your tongue, you know? or like your tongue, you're like you had an allergic reaction. <laughs> I've only ever seen one clip of Love Island six months ago, and I, I just remember that you had a really weird accent. Guar gum. This is a gum that are intergalactic space aliens that play gnarly metal. A little bit of guar gum. No, Nicole's over there like, don't add so much guar gum. Nicole, you think at the Wendy's corporate, they're not adding a bunch of guar gum to their breakfast sauce? And then we have xanthan gum. This is one that I'm more familiar with. Somebody misspelled the label. <laughs> just, to, that, just to flag it. <laughs> we'll bring it up in the postmortem, we're good. Gonna dump some xanthan gum in there. We're gonna blend this. The fat and the almonds should help everything sort of come together. Chase, if you wanna just like melt that cheese stuff. out on there, spread it out thin, because then we're gonna refrigerate it. In. Okay. I mean, I don't exactly know what's happening, but This is like a silky smooth. <laughs> I mean, this is what was on our sandwich. I have no idea what it tastes like. You wanna try it? Yeah. This has so got all the almonds and the colostrum and the. Like... My body has been taken over by a spirit. <laughs> what the hell? It's up here in the back of my neck. It feels like I'm being kind of pulled. This is gonna be the gnarliest tasting thing we've ever made on fancy fast food. <laughs> and that is saying <laughs> something. All right, we gotta, we gotta make some more food. I'm happy with our cheese, though. I think this turned out great. Yeah, this is, we're doing so good. <laughs> Six slices, that's the threshold. That is, it is Baconator. This is, this is Baconatora, though, because this is our Spanish wild boar glazed bacon. Spain's got a couple different types of pigs. You got the uh, cerdo de iberico, and then you got a bunch of wild boars. 30 to 50 wild feral hogs. <laughs> Running around in Spain, and we got one There's of them. Thirty to fifty. So it was it thirty to fifty? <laughs> so 
was like 60 to 80 feral hogs. Anyways, uh, what we're gonna do, you're gonna do is- 69 to 79 feral we're hogs gonna left take, <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna take some of the saffron, you're gonna grind that up in the mortar and pestle. Saffron, okay. big spice in a lot of Spanish cuisine, comes from a lot of Middle Eastern trade, uh, a lot of Moorish influence, you know. God, this is, what, is this like a million dollars worth of saffron? This <laughs> is a lot of saffron. Jeez. It's pretty cheap. Grind that up in there, and then okay. you're gonna add some quince vinegar. I wanna try this, because quince uh, membrillo is a quince paste that is from Spain. Quince was also a great Disney Channel original movie where they had five babies all at once. <laughs> oh! Uh. <laughs> Wait, that's so good. <laughs> we are doing three different, technically four different cuts of pork right here. We have uh, <laughs> lagrimas. Lagrimas are, if you see right here, this is the whole uh, una, una that lagrima. Lagrimas was tears, is that? Is that right? Is that lacrimas? <laughs> I failed Spanish. This is why I Lacrima can't- Lacrimas sounds naughty. <laughs> this is why I can never leave this job because I don't have a college degree because I failed Spanish. I figured out a connection between our uh, Wendy's in Spain. Oh, go ahead. There's a Toledo in Ohio and there's a Toledo in Spain. That's true. That is absolutely true. There's a Paris in Texas. Um, also, there's a Lebanon in Pennsylvania, but they pronounce it Lebanon. Oh. I also, in Ohio, their accent, they have a lisp when they pronounce their C's. That is true. Yeah. I've been to Columbus, <laughs> Cincinnati. We got all the rib meats in there, but then we have uh, butabura. This is actually Japanese. This is korobuta pork belly. That's going right in there. Then we have pluma de iberico, which is shoulder. So that's to get a little bit more of that lean meat in there. That's great. That's great. We're grinding all this up. Oh, wait. I should. Hold on. Stop it. Sorry. So I'm also gonna start adding our spices. I like to add spices directly to a grinder because mine as well. We're gonna add a bunch of, this is called jungle pepper. Oh yeah, smell that. It's almost nice Ooh. and cinnamony. It's got a lot of those warm spices in there. Yeah. Add some jungle pepper. I'm gonna take a fair amount of garlic. I'm just gonna go ahead and palm heel strike that. There we go. That was the first time a palm heel strike hurt me. I'm so sorry. What's going on? Oh, there's one other thing I forgot to grind up. There's one of the, I'm so sorry. I'm so effing sorry, dude. There's one more thing I forgot to grind up. How do I open this? This is Iberico ham. Um, I, here, I'm gonna, I should get that off the raw cutting board. No, it's fine, <laughs> it's fine. You're killing it today, Josh. Yeah, we can't eat this now because I touched it with my raw meat hands. Um, <laughs> but what? I'm grinding it into the sausage. You, Chase has had this before. Everyone's like, go, go wash your hands. You know when you cook at home, you're not normally like hosting a show in like a tiny area where if you move outside of it, one of them is gonna be like, hey, can you come back in the frame? Can you come back? Hey, can you just, hey, I can't see you. It's like, not everything's about you, Taylor. All right, so we're grinding the Iberico ham right in there. Iberico ham, some of the best ham in the world. If you had to rank your hams and you do. And so that's gonna be ground right into the sausage. Keep going! All right, so we got a bunch of stuff in there, as you've seen. I'm gonna go wash myself now. Chase, that looks beautiful. Thank you. I'm gonna watch Josh wash himself. All right, so I'm gonna add all of our spices. We have some paprika, paprika. This is sweet paprika, paprika ground uh, pimenton or bell pepper. I wanna add a lot of that to get a lovely color on there. Uh, this is actually Hungarian, not Spanish, because I just, Hungary makes the best paprika in the world. Sue me, Spain! All the people from Granada are gonna come at me now? <laughs> um, here we have, this is a uh, Spanish spice one. It's called Maruno rub. Maruno means uh, Moorish, uh, this is Andalusian. I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna, oh, I forgot to add salt. We added curing salt, but I didn't add salt salt. Do you want me to get some salt? Yeah, you got me some salt? Yeah. Where's that sal de Ibiza? I got sal de Mythical Kitchen. That's I love that. You wanna just like put a hefty pinch in there? Yeah. Keep going, one more, one more, one more. You got it, boss. One more. <laughs> You got it. There we go, now we're cooking with salt. Did I ever tell you that uh, I went to college with Wendy Thomas's son? <laughs> You've waited. We've known each other for like six years. <laughs> You've waited until now to tell me that you went to college with Wendy Thomas at Denison? At Denison? Get the hell out of here. In Ohio. He was a swimmer and I was a lifeguard and I used to watch him, but not creepy, it was from a job. <laughs> Did he have bright orange hair? Uh, I don't know what he looked like. Or is he wearing a swim cap? Yeah. So he looks like all the other swimmers. I'm, I'm running the sausage through twice. I like to do that. I like to add my salt, add my aromatics, as long as it's cold. This way you get an extra fine ground. And this will actually agitate the proteins in there. 
with the salt added, which is what you want. Is that like why you do a twice baked potato? Is it the same thing? That is exactly the same thing, Chase. Going to there. I'm sorry, do you want to do some plunge? It's kind of covered in raw meat. I do want to do some raw meat I'm plunge. plunge in there. I'm going to go wash myself again. Well, maybe I'll just play with the raw pork since I'm already <laughs> dirty. The raw meat plunge is actually something that the uh, gym bros do after yeah. they have the colostrum. Correct. <laughs> they'll work out and then they'll go for a nice raw meat plunge. Yeah, yeah. So the raw meat plunge, what you do is you fill a bathtub with ice. You get about six dudes all naked. And there's no wrong way to do it after that. What it you does need is... six if you want Wendy's to actually put their stamp of approval on it. It's the threshold. <laughs> oh, it's, they're gonna put that bacon in the oven. I'm gonna clean myself, purify my spirit and soul. Make a sausage patty. We got stuff to do. You'll see. We're gonna go wash up. <laughs> I'm overwhelmed. Okay, look at me. Breathe. And out. Uh... Much better. <laughs> Look at us. We got a lot of stuff here. Um, uh, okay, sausage. We got ourselves salchicha uh, de Iberico right here. We got our, our bacon that's glazed with Spanish saffron. We got our cheese, olive oil. We got our like uh, colostrum powder. Bun. We made a bun. And well, technically Nicole made this bun, and it's really dank. This has the flavors of pan con tomate, or in Catalan, pa am tomaca, uh, which is what you're actually going to make, because we're going to put the real pa am tomaca on the pa that we got here. <laughs> so take take some uh, lovely heirloom tomatoes, late season tomatoes, they're still good. Take that and grate it on the biggest grating section here. You got it. Uh, we were trying to get the tomato pulp, then take some garlic, switch to the small, grate the garlic on the small, put olive oil and salt in there. We're gonna take that, we're gonna cook that in our sausage. Duck egg. There's an egg on this bacon atora. Tocina atora? I don't know. Uh, duck is pato in Spanish. Which pato? I think is onomatopoeia. I think that's why they did that. Like pato, 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 pato. That's adorable. Yeah. Uh, we got some Spanish olive oil here. Um, they say don't fry with olive oil, and I say screw it. So we're gonna do that. So we're gonna take. I don't know how to get the olive oil out of it. Is there a little cap? <laughs> no. Oh my god. Why? I'm doing it. I'm doing it. All right. So we're getting our olive oil heated on there. Let's get a lot all over this. This is what they do at the Spanish Denny's. Ah, uh, okay. And There's then, a ring mold right there if you want what? it. Perfect. <laughs> All right, so we got our egg. I'm gonna take the sausage, I'm gonna slap this down next to the egg. Watch out for splatters, Chase. Yes, Chef. We got our lovely, I'm gonna press the sausage I in there. I also used to watch out for splatters when I was a lifeguard watching Wendy Thomas's son, who I don't know who he looks like. He went to Denison College, he was a swimmer. He was. I'm gonna splash some olive oil, trying to get some crispy fried edges on this here egg. I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of this fleur de sel. Chase, you're doing great right there. Thank you. Boom. Um, I have no idea what the sausage is gonna taste like. I'm gonna palm heel strike some garlic. Ice! We're gonna go ahead and grate some of that here. If you hold that perfectly upright, I can grate the garlic as you grate the tomatoes. Yeah, you gotta equal pressure and go. This is working out shockingly well. Suddenly I think everything's gonna pan out. <laughs> or pot out. Or pot out. <laughs> Okay, so the sausage is cooking. We're gonna crank up the heat on this. All right, I think you, I think you can be done with that, uh, with that tomato right there. Okay. I'm gonna get, jump in. I wanna do this. If I'm being dead honest with everybody, we didn't know what exactly we were gonna do with the grated tomato garlic. You wanna try it? I do. Just, no, you gotta, I gotta drop it in. How's it? That's good. Tastes like tomato and garlic. It really does. I wanna take this and I wanna sort of let this cook into the snossage. And then while that's cooking into the snossage, I'm gonna add a piece of cheese on top of the snossage. Right. And so the steam from the tomato is actually going to melt that cheese. Now, we're gonna add some of this tomato wet to the bun. All right. Cause that way it's wetter. Our sandwich, though delightful, not nearly as wet as I wanted it to be. Cheese goes on top of the egg, bacon goes on top of the cheese. Wait, I have an idea. I feel like the bacon's is too big. Wait, we need the bacon on top of this too, huh? We got three, yeah, we got a layer of bacon and then another layer of bacon. This is too much, this is too much, this is too much on one sandwich, here. We're only doing two, I, Wendy's, I'm sorry, we're only doing two strips. So we got that. But another one, we're gonna put- It's not gonna be a Baconator, Josh. Jace, can you just deal with it, okay, for once? Can you just deal with this? So like sorry, I'm so sorry. And then rate is I elevated don't, I don't now. know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. I'm freaking out. Do you try the bacon? I have not tried the bacon. Here, try the burnt piece of bacon. It's really good. Mm. Oh yeah. Cheese sauce going on the top bun. It's got all that colostrum powder in it. I feel confident. 
to the first milk of a bovine. Wiping around the jorts. This is coming up. I don't know what that is. Ow! <laughs> We're fine. <laughs> Just gonna go right on that bun. Flip it. Pow. Chase, I'm sorry, I feel like I've ignored you for a second, but this is it, we did it. Ow, <laughs> I'm scarred. Can you calm me down again? Okay. And <laughs> Feel better. Yeah, and now you're an honorary graduate of Denison. This wow. Is, this is gonna this be is very good. fancy. So fancy. <laughs> Chase, here we have our fancy Wendy's breakfast baconator inspired by the Sting Operation Project Varsity Blues as well as the Iberian Peninsula as well as the Ohioan Peninsula. We have saffron glazed wild boar bacon from Spain. We have pa am tomaca bun. We have a colostrum and zebro cheese sauce with Spanish marcona almonds. We have a corabuda and iberico pork and ham sausage patty, and then various cheeses. Before we get to eating this, we gotta eat the original breakfast baconator. Remember what it tastes like. Okay. Grab it, it's in a drawer. We have Switch a drawer. drawer. No, the top one, top one, top one, top left. Yeah, we've, yeah, this is, yeah, we've always just done this. It's a knife drawer. So when you reach in, this is real. When you reach in there to grab the, the fast food items, it's just like loose, rusty blades everywhere. We just gotta eat this, remember what it tastes like. This one looks a little bit less dry than the ones that we had earlier. It I'm does. Gonna, I'm gonna dip it in this uh, like salmorejo kinda, <laughs> you know. It's good with a grated tomato. Yeah? Mm -hmm. I feel like I don't want to enhance it too much because I want to know what we're improving on here. Where's the breakfast sauce? Like there's a little white smudge. That indeed is breakfast sauce. It kinda tastes like the one that we made. <laughs> let's Let's cut into this. Absolute monstrosity. And I'm 80% sure the sausage patty is cooked. Here, grab, I mean, grab a half. Oh God, you gotta really reach it in the undercarriage. <laughs> Rimini Christmas. Wow. That is so violently orange. It reeks of garlic and pimenton. <laughs> um, there's so much grated tomato in there. I'm gonna cup the butt and just go for it. The egg is still squishy. You ready for this? Yeah, I'm also gonna cup the butt. That's a hell of a flavor. It's real good. There's a lot of flavor. There's a lot of flavor. Wait, it has, the sausage yeah. is a lot. It's got a lot more spice. Woo. <coughs> Sorry. Mm -hmm. My mouth is so confused because it kind it's it's like spiritually similar to this. There's so much saffron in there. There's a lot of saffron. My Would, bad. No, 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 no. That's good. Because that's like a baseline humming through the back. This is nuts. If like I love this. I love what we did. This is maybe too much flavor packed into one thing. Yeah. Ever being honest. I feel like it'd be enough flavor if it was spread out over a larger plate. Yeah. But as one specific thing, it's oh. really this is like in the mouth real hard. Yeah, man. <laughs> Woo. Oh. I mean, you could. Okay. I cupped the butt too hard. <laughs> I'm gonna hide my hands. Evan. Oh God. <laughs> Chase, how much did this cost? This thing was real expensive. Uh, it was more than the regular Baconator mm -hmm. by a lot. So it was, $231.87, yeah. <laughs> well, we got a lot of stuff imported from Spain, which I don't regret. Me in the Spanish import-export business, I literally need this as a palate cleanser. <laughs> <laughs> it's, I don't know, is it, I need it, can somebody else taste uh, this? Is it bad? It's not, it's just Somebody it's else taste it, it who wants to taste it? Did that help? Did the regular bacon here help? So you want us to know if it's worth it? Yeah, what? like is it yeah, good? Yeah, is it good or bad? My palate's so blown out that I can't tell. Is it good or bad? Yeah, can I? Oh, well you kind of desecrated it. What do you mean? That's good, what are you talking about? You, it's, oh wait, the original? Oh wait, what? No, try the new one. <laughs> yeah, Wendy's does a fine job. This is really orange. Uh-huh. Very fall. It's, it's uh -huh. shocking. Um, there, she, there she goes. There she goes, slide down that sandwich. Mm -hmm. I love it. Mm -hmm. Do you? Yeah. It's, it's hefty. It is a hefty in the it's flavor department. It's very salty. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, it's so good. I think going back to the original was a bad idea. Oh, uh, thanks for stopping by Mythical Kitchen. We got new episodes of all the stuff that we do. 
coming out. Our podcast, our cookbook, that's an episode. It was a long one, it's 300 pages of paper episode that you can flip through. <laughs> you can buy it wherever you get it. And then um, what else do we do? Oh yeah, Chase. oh God, Chase, where can the people find you? What do you want to plug? Good Mythical Morning, Good Mythical More. Join Mythical Society, you can find my podcast. Good cool. Mythical Crew, the podcast. I'll have you guys on sometime. That'd be nice. Yeah, okay. yeah. Oh, were you talking to them? Yeah, I was not talking to you. Okay. Wrist up your next fire meal with the Mythical Kitchen Utensil Set. Available now at mythical.com.